may not understand all these very intricate science i may not understand all these things i will never be able to free from sense gratification i am always troubled by my mind and ego the only way is associating with people who are already free from these things since that is where bhagavatam says kshanardhe napitule na swargam na punarbhavam bhagavat sangya sangasya martyanam kim utatishah the association with sadhu kshana ardhena kshana is small not even a kshana half of a kshana kshana ardhena pitulaye associating with the sadhus even for half of a kshana is not equal to even salvation not equal to heaven not equal to any riches <coughs> na swargam na punarbhavam bhagavat sangi sangasya so the final solution is that if i don't understand all these things also if i am associating with people who are in the same path that is why shila propad always said association is very important because on my own i cannot cross this on my own i cannot understand i am not this body on my own i cannot understand what is happening around me it is such a complex situation but by associating with people who are already doing that slowly 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 i will also know the process bhakti pareshanu bhavo virakti anyatra how do i know that i am going through this progression i am slowly going beyond this matter that is what bhakti is. so hence bhakti is has three things which has to happen others we will not know i am in bhakti or not if you are in bhakti three things has to happen at least these three things as bhagavatam is analyzing as the sadhus have analyzed and it is compared to person who is eating when a person eats also three things happen what three things happen when a man is eating he is feeling satisfaction satisfaction is there and while he is getting eating what is happening it is nourishing it is giving him nourishment he is able to feel that satisfaction and he is getting strength and nourishment and when he does that he does not put his hand in another man's plate right so many people are sitting and eating i am eating if i am not satisfied my hand will automatically go into another man's plate but if i am satisfied i will not hence virakti same thing should happen in bhakti if i am in the process of bhakti then i should be satisfied and that satisfaction should be giving me nourishment hence bhakti is self sustaining you may say how long can i do bhakti bhakti can be done for eternity why because that is the nature of the soul and why because it has a self sustaining support it supports itself just like when a man is eating he is feeling strength so a man when he is doing bhakti he feels the strength by touching krishna presence of krishna strength is coming from krishna krishna is a reality because krishna is a reality the strength is coming from krishna i am able to sustain my interest in krishna people may how long you will do this so many times the parents will tell doesn't matter let him go after the three years two years he'll come back because they can't understand that you can sustain here but one year over two year over three year over five year over 10 year over uh, he is not coming back what are you getting here why are you here we are also going to temple we are also uh, you know chanting we are also reading Bhag- bhagavad gita it's all needed but it's part of the whole life but for you this is your life what is sustaining you uh, they can never understand what is sustaining us and what is really sustaining us is a touch of krishna in the posh of poshana tushti pushti these two things satisfaction and nourishment here nourishment is happening and this is exactly is a food for the soul here eating of the soul yes we take prasadam for the body but here prasadam for the soul is also there when there is prasadam for the soul when there is this food for the soul nourishment for the soul it sustains otherwise how are you sustaining so when knowledge realization and experience and you can touch glimpse of krishna because of your correct following it will sustain and the end of sustenance is what virakti 
Anyatra, you will not put your hand in the material plate. We will be satisfied. Hence, automatically sense gratification stops. Many people think, oh, I have to stop sense gratification. Then only I can start bhakti. No. Freedom from sense gratification is a byproduct of increasing of bhakti. It is not that after sense gratification stops, after my virakti, only then I can do Krishna consciousness. No. Virakti is a byproduct of Krishna consciousness. If you are following the basic principle, step by step as you progress, you will get freedom from that. So these three nature, these three characteristics of bhakti comes out. Then you know how I am not this body. Then you start experiencing soul. Then you start experiencing eternity. Then you start experiencing support from Krishna. All that starts with Sadhu Sangha. That is why Prabhupada has made this house where people can do Krishna consciousness together. If we are not together doing Krishna consciousness, if we are alone sitting in one place and doing Krishna consciousness, this sustenance is difficult. Because automatically my body goes, my mind and body goes back to senses, sense objects. It doesn't stop. Hare Krishna, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any updates.